Hello there. In this video, I'm excited to walk you through the process of reactivating a suspended user account in Google Workspace. This might sound a bit intimidating at first, but don't worry. By following a few straightforward steps, you'll have your users back online swiftly and efficiently. So let's dive right in. To begin, you'll need to open Google Workspace. Once you're in, look for and click on the admin console. This is your central hub where you, as the administrator, can manage users, settings, and a wide array of other crucial aspects of your organization's Google Workspace environment. It's important to remember that access to this console is essential, so ensure you're logged in with your business email, as only authorized accounts will have the necessary permissions. Once you're logged into the admin console, direct your attention to the top right corner of the screen. There you'll see a small icon resembling a cluster of gray squares known as the Google Apps menu. Clicking on this menu will unveil a list of different applications and you should select the admin icon. This will lead you directly to the core of user management. Next, it's time to navigate to the directory. Within the directory, you will find a comprehensive list of all users in your organization. Click on Users to access a detailed overview of each user's account status. Here, you can search for or scroll through to locate the specific account that's been suspended. Spotting these accounts is usually easy because their information appears slightly greyed out, indicating their suspended status. Once you have identified the suspended user, click on their name to view their account details. This step is crucial as it ensures that you're reactivating the correct user. Double check that their details match your records to avoid any confusion or reactivation of the wrong account. Finally, to reactivate the account, look towards the upper section of the user's account page. There, you'll find a button labeled Reactivate. Clicking this button will restore the user's access to Google Workspace and all associated services. Keep in mind that while the reactivation process typically occurs almost instantly, it may take a few minutes for all features to be fully restored, such as email sending and receiving. And there you have it. By following these steps, you'll successfully reactivate a suspended user account in Google Workspace, ensuring your team member can return to their tasks without further delay, whether the suspension was due to an oversight or a security measure. Reactivating suspended accounts is an essential skill that will help you maintain smooth operations within your organization. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to reach out to Google Workspace support. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tutorials on managing Google Workspace effectively.